Hello and welcome again to Explore. Uh, last week we started to think about prayer and we looked particularly at what's often called the Lord's Prayer and what that teaches about how to pray. We're going to dwell a bit more about prayer this evening and think about what it means and how amazing it is. But I'm going to start with a few questions. Do you want joy? Do you want peace? Do you want security? Do you know God and pray? So, we need to start off by remembering who we're praying to. You see, God is supremely powerful. We're praying to God who cares. We're praying to a God who loves. We're praying to God who is merciful. We're praying to a God who is good. We're praying to a God whose ways are perfect. This means that when we start off praying, we're looking to God. We're remembering who this God is and what he has done for us in rescuing us, in saving us. If we know God through Jesus, then spending time in prayer thinking about him, remembering his character, remembering what he's done for us, well that leads to joy. Having joy comes through knowing God. And then we remember that we're praying to God who's our Heavenly Father. As you remember that he's powerful, He's up in heaven. He can answer prayers. He's got the power to answer prayers. But he's also our perfect father. And so he always answers prayers for our good. So when we pray, we know that God will answer in the best way possible. Now, that might be completely different from the way that I would like it to be answered, or that I'd hope it be answered. But actually, if we're knowing God, if we've got that relationship with him, if we're trusting in him, if we know that he's good, then we know that when he answers our prayers, he is doing it for his glory and for the best of, for us, for all of his people. And so as we bring our prayers to God, as we take all our worries, all our anxieties and give them to him, actually we know that he'll answer those prayers and that gives us a peace. It gives us a peace that this world can't give us. And it's true where things are easy, or where things are incredibly hard. Actually, true peace only comes from God. There's a brilliant old song that I love, and it says this. It says, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. And what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials or temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. What amazing truths there are in that song. What amazing truths remind ourselves of what we can miss out on if we're not taking it to God in prayer. And then do we want security? Do we want to know that we're loved? That we're cared for? Well, when we're trusting Jesus, prayer does just that. Every time we pray, we remember this through Jesus, dying for our sins, taking the punishment for those sins, that we can come into the very presence of God into the very presence of our Heavenly Father, of the creator of this world. God and Jesus have shown us how much they love us on that day when Jesus hung on a cross. Nothing changes that. If we're trusting Jesus, then we know we are truly and fully loved for all eternity by the one who creates us. Uh, a couple of us from Romans say this, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 and 39. Security. Who we are, feeling safe, feeling secure is only ultimately found in God. Do you want joy? 
Do you want peace? Do you want security? Do you know God and pray? If you'd like to know more about how you can know God, then do get in touch with me and I'd love to communicate that with you. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that when we pray to you, we can remember that you are our Heavenly Father, that you care for us, that you love us, that you give us that security in knowing that nothing changes your love. And we see that through Jesus dying on the cross. And we know that we are forgiven. We know that we can bring all our worries, all our anxieties to you, and you'll give us peace. And that when we look to who you are, your character, your goodness, your greatness, your love for us, you bring us joy. Thank you that you've rescued us and you offer us all these things through the privilege of prayer. Amen. Thank you for joining me again. We look forward to seeing you same time, same place next week.